Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Tweety? I hope you're all super well. I guess it's not that early, but it is somewhat early in the morning. Currently 7.30 a.m. I'm driving off to a beach. The team that I've been trialing for, this is trial day number three. Welcome. We're doing a beach session today. I'm not quite sure what it's going to involve. There's been a few rumors that it's just going to be a long kilometre run. It could be sprinting. It could be whatever. I'm just going to be there prepared and with the mindset to really try and be at the front as much as possible try and dominate the session where i can and that's going to be my end so i'm going to head there now there will be no footage of it i'll probably catch you guys once i've come back home and i'll talk you through it but yeah i know it's going to be a tough session mentally i've accepted that so i feel good i feel good ready to go let's get there let's smash it let's be the best session done man i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm sweating pretty hard that was a tough beach session. Something I haven't done, I don't think I've ever actually done a beach session. The only other time I can remember was in the under 11. So I was 10 turning 11 years old and we did a football beach session. But apart from that, I can't remember the last time. I'm gonna head home now, take you guys through it and I'll let you know how it went, all that good stuff. I don't know if I wanna let you know what we did. I feel like that's breaching the boundaries a little bit. So I'll just tell you the sort of vibe of it and you know, you, what you guys want to know how I went so heading home now man feeling good though I'm feeling good I am absolutely ruined after that session I tell you what I didn't feel too bad straight afterwards but my legs broke oh my goodness beach running is something that you don't really do and if you guys have ever done soft sand running it uses a lot of quads and calves I would say and yeah I made sure every time we ran I led the pack I was at the front ready to go, smashing it. And to be fair to everyone, we all did an extremely good job. I'm proud of all the boys that just pushed through it because it was tough. So yeah, I'm stoked for them. But for me personally, I think all of the work that I have been doing has helped massively. I'm just much fitter. And I told dad before what we did and I said, yeah, I was at the front every time I was leading. And he goes, that's different to every other year because every other year it's, I haven't had to trial like this for the last four, five years. I haven't really had to have a preseason put into me where I have to be the fittest one there. It's all been a bit easy. So going overseas, all that sort of stuff, it took me out of a comfort spot and really developed me into the player I am today. So tough, tough session. I called Pat, I said, let's go to the gym, bro. He's down, we're going. I'm exhausted, my legs, legs. It's, I'm not tired like physically or mentally. It's just all my legs feel I don't know. I can't explain it. So it's tough, but gonna go to the gym. I think I'll get an upper body session in mostly. I don't want to work my legs too much more. Rest day tomorrow because I need to recover from this as much as possible leading into the next trial, which is on Tuesday. So I still have a fair few days, which is why I want to get in the gym. But yeah, this time all the preparation, all the extra trainings, they were done before. Now is the time to, you know, go for it and go for these trials and make sure I'm ready for them. So off to the gym, let's catch up with Pat. Let's see how he's doing. Let's see how his training's going. Yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Yes, Patty, good form, son. Look at him go. What an athlete. Really just explosive power. Boom. Boom. And here we go, the big man into these big squats. He's hitting a a big 70 kilos, I think only, but it's not about that. Technique. There it is. Power, push up, bang, that's it. Through your hips, push up, good. So we're just at the gym and look at this fill. <laughs> Yuck, you actually are disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Get that out of here. Yuck. <laughs> Body KG. Look at him go, pure power. Damn. What a absolute strength. Yes. Oh, he's done well. You've done well. I can't get him off. <laughs> Alright, good gym session, mate. We're in. How We're are you in. feeling after that one? Good. Yeah, recovering very well, as always. Well, you did. Good Wait, did fit. you do a gym session yesterday? Yeah, legs yesterday. Right. I did a little bit today, but more yesterday was more dynamic movement. 
So a lot of box jumps, yeah. dynamic jumps. See, we laid off yeah. the legs a little bit. It actually worked out well because yeah. with your gym session yesterday, that's right. And then my beach session this morning, yeah. we just focused on the upper body, and I'm so burnt. Look at look at our color know, difference. That's a red forehead. <laughs> like that's a red. <laughs> now Not Pat's healthy. in an MPL one club this year. Uh, I think they know that. Yeah, so. we said that. Yeah. Maybe. So, do you want to tell us about the club you're at and? Is that a bird or something? Let's go find it. Hello. There is a bird there. They're up there. Okay, that's fine. No, no, that's right. No, listen here. It's water. Oh, it's water. I thought that was a bird inside. <laughs> Tell us about the club you're at. How's the training yeah. going? All that good stuff. Because possibly, if I get into an MPL1 club, we could be up against each other. I know. <laughs> I'll smash it. Tell us. <laughs> Um, so Manly United, uh, that's my former club as well, if, if you don't know. I was there from under 11s to first grade when I was 18, then I went overseas, come back now. Um, and it's been great, you know, it's very professional. Um, you know, just the way they train, they have sports science people, more yeah. physios. The way they train you, you know, it was, it was good. Um, so I'm enjoying it, even though despite being injured. Yeah, uh, still coming back. Still coming back, you know, but I've done a lot of fitness and I'm still at a good level. They're constantly working on me every day. Um, so it's good. Really How are you good. finding it for spots? Is it? Do you think it's going to be challenging? Of course, healthy Chall competition is always is, good. Yeah, I agree. It's been, it's challenging. You can see every spot's got like two, three yeah. players. It's a lot, which is great because I think if you want to be any sort of good team, you have to push each other. And it's nothing wrong with pushing each other and fighting for a spot. I think it's the best thing. So exactly right. Yeah, for me as well, it will be tough, but I'll expect to get a spot because I'll work hard enough. And then I'll it. be the left winger. Yeah, it'll be good. Or uh, or Actually, ten. I could be centre mid. Yeah. I, and we could be. You could be. Ten versus six. Yeah, eight. Ten we'll ten see. Six, yeah. I'm looking forward to it if that happens. Yeah. So that's Pat's situation. I'm it's heading it. home now. Yeah. Exhaust after. Yeah, I know. Are you? Well, big day. Yeah, for you. Big for day. You, yeah. Yeah. So, good yeah. session, mate. Well done, mate. We'll Great catch up. session. We, Pat's going to be back getting in the sessions because we be. haven't done that in a yeah. while. Yeah. So, Can't stay wait. tuned for that. Enjoy the rest of your week. See you, guys. Of course, as well, I've got my protein shake. It's good having multiple because it just means efficiency, man. So, I've got this as well. Getting this in straight after the workout. Super important. It's really not a nice day anymore. But stoked to get that session in with Pat. He, he just pushes you to another level, which is epic. Love it, love it, love it. Let's head home. Papa Tweety, the man, how you going? Good. I've just finished up a gym session. Good. Tough. It's been a tough day. Uh, I went with Pat, we focused on upper body. Every day's a tough day for you. Oh, it has to be. Stop whining about it. I'm not I'm whining. <laughs> I love it. If I didn't love Good. it, I wouldn't do it. Simple as that. I would just, you know, put it's it to the tough, side. It's tough, it's easy. Yeah. It's easy because you love it. Yeah. It's you don't think of it as work. You just think, well, this is easy. This is fun. I enjoy what I do. That's why I go to the gym and put my body through this. So, focused a lot on upper body because this morning we went, we spoke about it a little bit. I had a beach run with a team I've been trialing for. What are your thoughts on beach runs? Because that is, I I said this in the car. The first ever beach session I've done since the under 11s. Do you remember oh, right. that? Yeah. First ever. We used to do it. I remember there was a period of a month or two when you and I went and did it when I was trying to get you fit way back then. What did we do? Just ran along the soft sand. Didn't last very long. No, I do remember that. I think we did it like... Three or four times. Yeah. <laughs> but we ran pretty far, I yeah. think. But uh, beach running, well, look, it depends. I mean, in the old days, in the olden days... Back in my day. The rugby players, they used to... For pre-season, pretty much all I did for pre-season was uh, run along the road, right? run along the concrete yeah. for an hour, and that'd be their pre-season training. Yeah, fire. Really hard on the knees. There was a certain regional group who lived near the beach who would run along the beach up and down the sand hills, yep. and they'd do these famous killer sessions on the beach, and yeah. that's all they would do, and it was just stupid. Yeah. And I think it's like all the fitness work. There's a place for it as long as it's not the only thing you're doing. What I think was great with it is it's very character building yeah. within the within the squad. It's something where we all go there and we know it's going to be tough. Everyone's dreading it before because we know we're just running. Team bonding, team <laughs> yeah. bonding. Yeah, and it's, we get there and we do the first run and we're like, all right, boys, we got this. 
and we're sort of pumping each other up and it's through those tough times you really develop little relationships with players and push each other through it to keep going. Yeah, sure, that's true. But the other thing I'd say about beach running, or any running, but particularly beach running, is you've got to do your warm-up and your stretching properly. Yeah, I made sure. Because I used to live over in the eastern suburbs and I used to run along Bondi Beach. Yeah. This is 30 years ago. And I would run along Bondi Beach and then one day I went to Bondi and I'd, it wasn't like it was the first time I'd done it on the wet sand. Yeah. And I didn't do any warm-up or stretching and I took off and probably, and I wasn't going fast, but probably in my first five steps, I tore my Achilles. Oh. Just, and it took six months to recover oh, just because man. I hadn't stretched. And the yeah. sand is a bit more unforgiving because yeah. you don't have oh, the babe. shoes, you don't Soft have the Soft sand support. was tough. I, made, I knew it was going to be an absolute calf killer. Yeah. I made sure I strapped my calves. That's it. I was there, I think I got there half an hour early or so, sat down for a little bit, spoke with the players, went to the toilet, <laughs> did whatever I needed to do, and then I stretched because yeah, I knew... The stretching's incredibly super important. important. So, Especially yeah. for that. So, yeah, it was a good sash. I'm off to Jordan's. You remember Jordan. I do. One of my best mate. Happy oh. birthday, Jordan. Yeah. If you're watching, we're all thinking about you all over the world. <laughs> Everyone, happy birthday, Jordan. I'll be heading off to his 21st. Might get a clip of the speeches or something like that. Very good. So, yeah, he's been a friend of mine since a long time. Long, long time. So, cheers, mate. See you later. Working hard. So, as you guys heard, I'm heading off to Jordan's 21st tonight. Time to spend with friends. The last time I actually hung out with people who I spent so many years with in school, it would have been a while ago. And if I do see them, we just go for a surf. We don't chill out or do anything like that. And the reason was because when I was so focused on football, these guys were going out, going to parties, going to clubs, which is completely fine. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with going out and drinking. Even if you are a professional footballer, a lot of these guys, I actually did see the other day Arsenal players I think it was a Bamiyang, Guendouzi, a couple of others. They were doing this special gas. I don't know, if you want to search it up, look for it. But, man, if they want to enjoy what they're doing, that's fine. And the media criticises them, and I think we all look at it and frown upon it when it's, it's not the end of the world. Look at them, they're killing the league. For me, it's just super important to make sure that my life is balanced and I'm not just focused on football. I need to see my friends when I can. I need to do things like that. So I'll be heading out there. I don't think I'll outro the vlog simply because I will get home. Not super late because I usually get tired of these things. Some people stay out to like 3, 4 a.m. and I'm there going, man, it's like, I don't know, 11.30 and I'm really tired. <laughs> I want to go home and 11.30 is late, but look, it's a sacrifice to make sure that I'm keeping my friends as well. And you know, not just focusing 100% on football. Again, balance, super key. So I'm going to head out there. Not going to outro the vlog because I'll be so tired when I get back. I'll see what clips I can get for you guys, but let's head over to Jordan's now. <laughs> it's kind of something that just went along. It's more of a mutual friendship where it's like, oh, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Like, like, we're, we're just going to get along. Like, we don't hate each other. We don't. Let's go!